Hey besties, welcome back to my channel, or hi, my name is Stacy. if you're new here. So today's video is very exciting because we're reviewing the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. She looks like this. So when I first saw this palette, I wasn't super drawn to the color story, but like the more I looked at it, the more I started liking it. I just think it has like really nice earthy muted tones with an olive -y twist. And as you can see on my eyes here, like it still looks very wearable, but there's that kind of like unique pop of color to it. So if you want to see how I got this look and two other looks, then just keep on watching. And I'll also include swatches and my final thoughts towards the end. I also have another bonus look with this palette on my TikTok. So if you want to follow me there at the Stacey Chen, and I'll link the video down below. But anyways, yeah, so before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this because it really helps out my channel and it would really mean a lot to me. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so first, as usual, I kind of like to start off with doing the most neutral look possible with this palette. So we're just going to see what we can get with the most like brown tones in here. Starting off with this lightest shade called Paloma. We're just going to use that to set the whole lid. Okay, next I'm going into this shade, Fleur. Honestly, that's one of my favorite shades because it's just going to be a super easy transition shade. It's like the perfect transition shade for my skin tone or anyone who has like a light skin tone. We're just going to use Flora and do the bottom lash line. Next up, we're going to use Metro to deepen the outer corner a little bit. Just going to place that in the outer corner. I'm also going to put a teeny bit of Metro on the bottom lash line and the outer V. Okay, and then we're going to use the shade Lily. It's a very creamy glitter. It just has more glittery sparkles in it than some of the other metallics, which are more like a pure metallic. This one has some sparkles in it, so I really like this shade. Also, the formula of the metallics are like super, super creamy. Super easy to work with, too. So I'm just building that up. And I feel like it has a little teensy bit of a shift to it. It's mostly like a bronze shade, but then the pearl has like a slight green tinge. It's really pretty. Lastly, we're going to go into the shade Isle, which is that peachy gold. And we're just going to tap that in the inner corner and a little on the egg yourself the under eye fat. So this is like a pretty unnatural gold color. So if you wanted to make this even more natural, you could just like use less. It's actually very pretty for being such like warm peachy gold. Okay, that's literally it for this eye. Super simple. I'm gonna go off camera and do my mascara and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Okay, so now I'm back with my mascara all done and this is the finished look on this eye. This is basically just the most basic, everyday, neutral, bronzy eye. But it still has a tinge of green. I don't know if you guys can pick up the shift on camera. It's like a very subtle green tinge to the bronzy shade called Lily. Really pretty for summer. I feel like when I go on vacation, like I like wearing this. It's just a very cute, bronzy summer eye. Okay, so now moving on to this eye. I obviously want to go in a very green direction since it's kind of the whole vibe of this palette. Once again, I'm going to set my eye with Paloma. Just so you know, there is a lot of kick up in the pan you guys can see and like with other shades too that's not something that really bothers me it's very typical of the abh formula also like it doesn't really like fall out on your face or anything at least not in my experience i'm still gonna go in with the fleur shade which is just the transition shade i feel like that will just give us a good base to work from then i'm gonna go into the liberty shade which is the army green matte but as you can see this army green shade is not super green i guess it like shows up more olive on the eyes so that could be good or bad depending on what you like but I do think that like the green tone shows up enough. Like it's not, it doesn't look just gray, but it's like a green tone gray, if that makes sense. But I think when you combine it with greener shadows, it kind of pulls out the green in that tone. So yeah, it's kind of like one of those in-between colors. Also, I do find this shade a little bit harder to work with than some of the other shades, but that might just be because of like the color. Like it's quite deep as you can see, and it is like an unnatural color. So obviously like with any super pigmented or unnatural colors that like you wouldn't normally find in your skin tone or anything, those are just generally speaking hard to make work. But as you can see by using these tapping motions, it actually blends it out pretty nicely, especially if you want to keep that greenish tinge because the more you blend it out, the more kind of brown, smoky gray it looks. Okay, and then I'm just blending the edge right here with like a bigger, fluffier brush to kind of soften that. Okay, so now we're starting to get that green, olivey, smoky color. Next, I think I'm going to go into the shade Peacock which is like this duochrome-y, peacock -y shade. It's kind of that typical like blue-brown duochrome that I feel like we see a lot. And since the shade is pretty deep, so I feel like given my skin tone, I wouldn't really use it like all over the lid, but I feel like we can use it kind of as like a bridge between the outer corner shade and our metallic shades. 
Like it is really pretty and the duochrome is pretty strong. You can see that teal blue shade coming through. So it is a very pretty shade, but it's just a little bit too smoky and deep for my tastes. I would only really use it like as an outer corner accent type thing. So I just like placed it there. So it looks kind of weird. But now we're gonna go into the shade Hope. So this is like the true green metallic and all the metallics in here are super creamy. They feel soft and buttery to the touch. So I'm just gonna start placing that next to that. Ooh. It's very pretty. I was also worried that this green would be quite deep, but it's actually not. I would consider this like more like a mid-tone, and this one is pretty deep. I guess if we're trying to do like a little green gradient here. So I'm gonna go into the shade Bell now, which is like a bronzy green, or I guess it's more like a greeny bronze. It's more bronze in my opinion. So I'm gonna put that in the inner corner, as you can see here. So it definitely is like a lot more gold bronze. It's just like, uh, antique bronze. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend these out a little using just this Anastasia brush from like their older palettes. And we're just gonna blend in between, adding some of the color that I was blending out like here in this peacock shade, some of this bronze. Lastly, gonna go into the inner corner with the shade Isle, which is like the peachy gold, and do the same thing. So the thing is like with this palette, there isn't any other like inner corner highlight, at least like not from my skin tone, because this yellow peachy gold is the brightest shade. And now I'm just blending out the crease a little bit just so we can get that nice blend. All the shimmer is super easy to work with. I'm gonna build up a little teeny bit of this green shade. And then for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go into Fleur again, which is the transition shade. And we're just gonna hold that all the way down here. So I'm gonna go into the shade Liberty again, and I'm just gonna put that in the outer corner, kind of deepen things up. And there was a tiny bit of fallout with that shade, but I just brushed it away and it was fine. Isle in the inner corner again. But I also forgot to use the shade Wings. So I'm gonna use Wings on the bottom lash line in the middle right there, just to highlight like the ball of my eye. This is quite a pretty minty sage green shade. Oh wait, actually I forgot to go into the shade Muse. I'm just gonna use that as a liner. I always forget to line my eyes. It does make a difference, but it doesn't make like a super drastic difference to my eye shape. But I feel like since we're going for this like smoky look, yeah, as you can see, it's a great eyeshadow liner color. It's more like a super deep smoky brown with kind of like an olive -y undertone. So it goes super well with any of the looks that you can create with this palette. Like I just lined my eye and that was so easy. So now I'm gonna go off camera and do my lashes and be right back. Okay, so now I'm back with the green eye look and here you can see the finished look. It's a very pretty, just like green gradient. You can see how well it pairs with like peachy tones. And it's definitely a lot more smoky because a lot of the green metallic shades are on the more smoky side. It's more like the daytime look. It's more like a night out look. But I do want to do something else, which is use this purple shade as a blush. So give me a sec. I'll remove this blush that I have on this side and then I'll be back to apply the purple shadow. Okay, so now I'm back with this half of my face blanked out. We're gonna go into the Wisteria shade, which is the bright purple. And we're just gonna use that as a blush. We all know purple blush has been kind of in recently. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so actually it seems like this shade of purple is very, very cool toned. Whereas a lot of like purple blushes tend to have like a pink undertone to it, or, but this one definitely has a blue undertone. So I think what we can actually do is like maybe mix it with this Fleur shade, which is more of that like nudie tone. And I think if we mix them, it will make the perfect purple blush. I actually warmed it up pretty well. Okay, what do we think of this purple blush? Actually, let me switch out the lip too. So let me remove that. Okay, so now I removed my lip color and we're gonna go in with this like concealer type shade. And just conceal the outer edge of my lip and then blend it. Now I wanna go in with this Merit lipstick in the shade Baby. So this is like a cool tone nude, which I think will go well with this look. And I'm gonna outline it a little bit with Endless Cacao by Makeup Forever. Okay, then I think I'm gonna top it off with the Tower 28 Pistachio Gloss. Okay, I think that's the finished look for this eye. I just made this like a cool tone nude lip so it would go with the blush. So let me know what you guys think about using Wisteria as a blush. It is a little bit too cool tone for my taste, even though, as I said before on this channel, we love purple blush here, but like this purple blush definitely has a blue undertone. But let me know what you guys think about this purple blush versus this warm tone look. Anyway, so now I'm gonna remove the rest of my face so we can get into the third and final look. Okay, before we get into the last look, I actually wanna mention that I do have another bonus look 
It's up on my TikTok, so I'll insert it right here. Basically, it's like a lighter green look, so it's a little bit more natural, more wearable than the green look that I just showed you. And I wore that one out for a Father's Day dinner, so, so yeah, pretty wearable, really cute with any green outfits. And I really like how that look turned out, so make sure to check out my TikTok video. I'll link it down in the description if you're interested. Okay, so for the last look, I guess I'm gonna try to combine like some green and some of the bronze. So we're gonna go into the Paloma shade and using that, setting the eyelid. Okay, and then going into Fleur, transition shade. Then we're gonna go into Metro. There's like the orangey terracotta shade. And we're just gonna build that up a little bit. Deepen the crease a little. Okay, next going into Liberty, which is the army green shade. And we're just gonna build that up in the outer corner. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of hope just on the outer corner, kind of intensify that olive green color. Hopefully you guys can see that it makes the Liberty shade look more green compared to this side. I just wanna bring that color out. Okay, then I wanna use more of Belle this time, cause I only used that in the inner corner last time. So I'm gonna put that as like the main shade here. Very pretty, just like a grungy, bronzy look. Okay, and actually I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Lily on top, which is like the more glittery shade. And I think that will warm it up a little bit. So I guess I'm just kind of mixing the Lily and Belle shades. And I feel like they kind of neutralize each other cause now it's more like a true neutral goldy bronze shade. Okay, lastly I'm gonna go in with the shade Isle again and we're gonna put that in the inner corner as well as the tear duct area. And then for the bottom lash line, just gonna go back into Fleur and then a little bit of Liberty, the green shade. I'm just kind of put that on the outer corner, smoke it out a little. And then again, gonna go into the wings shade and use that on the like the center of the eye. And then lastly, I'm gonna go back into the Muse shade and I'm gonna line my eyes with this shade. I really like this shade because it's very pigmented, so it's really easy to like line your eyes with. Like it doesn't like skip or patch or anything. So this is pretty much the eyeshadow all done. So I'm gonna be right back after I do my mascara and then we'll do some swatches. Hey besties, I'm back with my finished look. So you can see. It's just like an olivey green look. It's still more on the neutral side rather than like my second look where it was like green green. Let me know what you guys think of this look. I really like it. It's also a little bit smoky. It's still pretty and wearable in my opinion. But now we're gonna go into the swatches. Okay, I'm just gonna do the swatches live. So this is the first shade, Wings. I didn't feature it that much in my looks today, but this was the main shade in the TikTok that I posted. Basically this makes a really nice, pretty light green look. Whereas most of the other greens in this palette are pretty deep, as you can see. So you would get like a kind of smoky look if you use the other greens. But if you use this as the main green in your eyeshadow look, it'll still give you that green tone to your eye makeup, but it's definitely a lot lighter, more fresh looking, I guess. Okay, next up we have Isle, which is the peachy gold that I used a lot. And we're just gonna... You can see like how creamy all of these shades are. Sorry, I just lowered the lights a bit because I didn't realize it was so bright. And hopefully you guys can see the shades better. Super pretty, it's like a peachy gold. It's very warm, very yellow as you can see, but it's a pretty flattering yellow. And then we have the shade Bell. So again, basically all of the metallics are like the same creamy formula. You can see how like, and that could like keep going. It's just a very pretty bronzy metallic, quite an antique shade as you can see on the center of my lids. It does have a greeny undertone, but I guess in comparison to the Wings shade, it doesn't look very green. Moving on, we have the Wisteria shade. Okay, so swatching it here. So this does swatch very smoothly, actually. It's not the most pigmented in one swipe, as you can see. It's a little bit sheer, but I think it's still very pretty. Let's swipe it again. Like, it's, it's definitely buildable, so. With one swipe, we're not gonna get that like one swipe intense full opacity but it's very easily buildable as you can see. And it's a very bright lavender shade, but as you can see like when I put it on my cheeks and stuff, it definitely has a cool undertone. So I would like to use this as like a, a pop on my inner corner or something, but I wouldn't really like pair it with any of these other shades. Just look at my fourth finger. It's just very cool leaning. It almost has like a grayness to it that I personally wouldn't like feel comfortable pairing with these types of like warm olivey greens. So I do actually like this pop of purple, but I would just prefer to use it on its own rather than like pairing with other shades in this palette. And leave a comment if you wanna see me use like a pop purple and like another look and a get ready with me or something and then we're going to the shade lily now so this i think is my second favorite metallic after wings you can see woo. 
Again, super creamy. It has this warm, rosy brown terracotta base. But then it has like these silver and gold shimmers through it, and it also has these green shimmers. And I don't know if the glitters are picking up on camera, but it definitely has these more micro shimmery glitter particles, which if you know my channel, you know that I really like those compared to like these smoother metallics that I first swatched. So that's kind of the difference with this Lily shade. Now moving on to the Hope shade. I'm just gonna swatch it like this. Again. Same creamy formula. So actually the more you blend out this Hope shade, the more brown it looks. Like it's starting to look kind of similar to Belle. It's more green than Belle. I don't know, I feel like in the palette and on the eyes, it does look more green than how it's looking in the swatch. So I guess this just shows why swatches aren't always the best. But yeah, as you can see when I layered it, it definitely became more green. And I think this is also, again, one of those more transformative shades where like if you put it next to more green shades, it will kind of help pull out the green. So like, if you paired these two greens together, I feel like that, that would make them both look greener. But what I really like is that all of these shades are kind of like very in between, like they're very muddy, kind of like a mixture of shades. That's why it like looks different on my arm compared to on my eyes, compared to like, you know, in different lighting and stuff. But I like that because I feel like it just makes the shades more dimensional. Next we have Paloma, the neutral shade that I used in like all of my looks. This is just gonna be like your typical cream shade. It's actually very nice and smooth, as you can see. Quite pigmented too. That's just gonna be your typical base shade. Then we have our Fleur shade, which is again a typical transition, but I really like this shade because it's quite neutral. Hmm. Very like evenly pigmented. Build it up again. Yeah, you can see that. What I really like about this is that it has this like pinky undertone. So it's not too orange or peachy compared to some other transition shades. It's just a very nice neutral transition shade. Next up, we have the shade Liberty, which is the army green. And I feel like this is a really important shade in this palette because it's the only green matte and it's gonna make our other green shimmers look more green when paired with this one. So the only thing is like this one is slightly more dry when swatching. But again, it swatches very opaquely. It's just like not as creamy as the other shades but I don't really think that's a big deal. Yeah, and you can see that it is more of like an olive shade, so it's not the most green, but again, when you pair it with other greens, they kind of pull out the green in each other. And I feel like on the eyes too, just like they end up looking more green than on my arm. So yeah, I would say Liberty is the most finicky shade in this palette just because of its depth. And then also the formula is a little bit drier than the other mattes and shimmers. But once you blend it out, it is a pretty even and opaque shade. Next we have the shade Peacock. So this is the duochrome. It's a pretty strong duochrome. You can see that blue shift. Hats off to them for making it like a nice duochrome because some duochromes should not be calling themselves duochromes. But yeah, you can see that very clear blue shift with that red brown undertone. Very pretty. It's just a little bit deep for my preferences. So it's hard for me to use this like all over the eyes, but I think it would look great on deeper skin tones, especially like as an all over lid shade because that blue would just like really pop. But yeah, it's just that typical blue-brown duochrome shade. Next up we have the shade Metro, which is like the warm terracotta shade. This looks really good with any of the bronzy tones in here. Again, this one swatch is really nice and smooth. It's like opaque in one swatch, but I just like to build it up with two. Super pretty. It's a very typical terracotta shade, so that one's not very unique, but the formula is great and opaque. And then lastly, we have the shade Muse. So this is like a dark brown and it has some shimmer in it. Like it's actually technically more of like a shimmery metallic almost, but it's so deep. Like you can't really see the shimmers. So I would just use this as like a lining shade. Yeah, you can kind of see how like there's like the satiny sheen to it. It's not like a matte, but I think that just makes it like more creamy kind of and easy to blend. And you can see how opaque it is. But yeah, so I just use this as like a lining shade or you can use this as like a deepening shade if you have a deeper skin tone. But yeah, it's a really nice deep kind of chocolatey brown, but it has like this greenish gold undertone to it. So let me just show you all of the swatches by themselves. Okay, now I'm gonna go wash these off and I'll be right back to just wrap up my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, so for final thoughts on this Anastasia Nouveau palette. So when I first saw this, I wasn't super drawn to the color story, but after like looking at it more, 
And because I've been really into greens recently, I decided to pick it up because I do like kind of palettes that are like neutrals with a twist, which I feel like this Nouveau palette really embodies. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of these shades are kind of muddy in between shades and they'll kind of pull different colors depending on what you pair it with, which I think is a huge advantage of this palette. I really like those types of in between shades. They're like really hard to describe. And I like how a lot of these greens are that olive -y type of green, but they can also pull neutral if you pair them with more neutral shades or they can pull more green when you start pairing them with green shades. So that's really pretty. And the same with like these like kind of bronzy tones that have like a green undertone, they can also pull more green when you pair them with more green shades. So I just feel like that adds to the versatility of this palette. And basically if you're a person who loves the shade green, or if you love like kind of grungy tones and if you like neutrals, then I think you would really like this palette. As for the pop of purple, I do love a purple eyeshadow, as you would know if you follow my channel, but I would much rather pair this with other like purple shimmers or anything like that. Because generally speaking, I do like a more monochromatic look. I don't really like pairing super complementary colors or like I do sometimes, but it's like in a very specific way. So in my personal preference, I wouldn't pair this shade of purple with these types of greens. But I do think that this shade of purple is very pretty on its own. And I would love to do a look just like using that by itself or pairing with some other purples in my collection. But overall, I think the composition of this palette is really great. One thing I really like is how the looks I feel like turn out more sexy, sultry. Like they definitely are a little bit deeper than my usual go-to looks because I tend to like more pastels, more light tones. I'm not opposed to like these deeper, grungier shades. And I found that most of them don't end up looking too deep or too smoky for like my pale skin tone. But I think it would look great on deeper skin tones. This would look even more like natural on deeper skin tones. These shades are pretty unique for neutrals in terms of like being neutrals with a twist. So I actually think that Anastasia did a pretty good job with these. As for the formula, all of the metallics are really, really good. They're super creamy, super smooth, opaque as well. If you're the kind of person who likes more glittery toppers or like glittery micro shimmer shades, they don't have that many of those. They only have that in the Lily shade. The other metallics are like smooth chrome metallics, but I actually do really like how they look on the eyes, even though I'm generally speaking am more of that like glittery topper person, like I love glitter. But I do think that the smooth chrome metallic goes well with like the vibe of this palette. It's definitely more like sultry, smoky, that type of thing. But even for chrome metallics, which aren't my like favorite type of metallic, I think that it's a great formula and I like that they are reflective enough that they definitely like, give that sheen to my eyes, as you can see here. And also like they did a really good job of the light to deep shades. Like there's this really light shade and a pretty deep shade. So you have that versatility in the depth of this palette. I actually like this palette a lot more than I thought I would, especially like from the initial promo photos and stuff like that. It's just very pretty. Like it just gives me this really pretty olivey green look when I want that. And I can also get like a beautiful summer bronzy look. So I'd say if you're a person who's into like sultry, smoky looks, you would really like this. If you like neutrals with a twist, you would like this palette, especially if you like green. I, obviously I wouldn't really recommend this palette if you don't like the color green. But as you can see, I've been a green lover recently. I'm just like really into it. Oh yeah, also lastly, just wanted to mention that the pan sizes of this palette are two times the size of like their regular palettes and there's no brush included. I think it's also a really good way to kind of like start playing with color if you've been a little bit afraid. I feel like this is a good way to step out of that neutral comfort zone while still having enough neutrals to like ground the look. So overall, I highly recommend this palette if you like green. Let me know down in the comments below which look was your favorite and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this because it really helps on my channel and it would really mean a lot to me and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.